gamers, I'm Martu Barrie, and today we are looking at a brand new game, a game called JCB Pioneer Mars. And if you ever wondered if a wild Mortuary can survive on in space and especially on Mars, then this is the time to figure out. So let's have a look at what we can do in this game and see if we can survive. Critical impact. Please scan surroundings for materials critical for survival. Okay, the sound seems to be a little bit loud. Let's first check the settings. Uh, I have started the game. The only thing I did was pick the difficulty. There was only one choice and I entered the name for my survivor. I uh, had to do that off camera be because for some reason it didn't want to do that in windowed mode. And I kind of want to have a windowed mode. Then I can have a look at the chat and other things. So let me look at what Pioneer. What, what's happening? Press T to scan. Yeah, pioneer, pioneer, pioneer. T is... Scanners confirm the existence of a potential life support system. Vehicle Explorer JMC X18. JMC X18. New now, mission. Oh. Rendezvous with Explorer JMC X18. Yeah, okay. Use WASD. Now, the funny thing is, I have spotted this game when I was at Gamescom. It's actually made by an... Uh, uh, UK indie developer. Um, hold on, it's Automaton. Uh, I should have the card lying around somewhere. I should have prepared that in advance. It's Atomicom. Yeah. And I had a chat with the developers uh, at Gamescom because, yeah, I, I have seen them, them play it and it, it kind of interested me. Uh, and I had a little chat with the developers. I had a little Played through up there as well, small part. On your hood. Please move quickly. Oh yeah, I need to move quickly. Now you will notice that there are some red things appearing on the ground. Those are the impact sites for uh, stuff like uh, meteors and then whatnot. You you see that? Do not walk into that, or you will get killed. Okay, the XM thingy. Is a little bit further up. Oh, use space to jump off a cliff. Yeah, I have that. Nice, nice, nice. So, uh, once we get out of this, I will be telling you a little bit more about the background for this game. But first, I need to reach that vehicle thingy. Oh, oh, oh. Do not get in there or you will get hurt. Also, watch out for the electricity cables. Turbulent weather. What's this? Turbulent weather. Yeah, sandstorms. Sandstorms on Mars. That's also a thing. Let me bring my microphone a, bit, a little bit closer. Yeah, there is the XMC. No, JMC X18. I will never get it right. So, this is my basic vehicle. I need to lower the, the volume of those effects. Music a little bit as well. Speech can be a little bit louder. Pioneer. Yeah, yeah, pioneer, pioneer. So, I can drive with this thing, but the question is, where do I drive to? Probably I follow this canyon. So, success. Yeah. Oh, success. Habitation unit located within two kilometers. Two kilometers, I should be able to reach that. Drive to the landing zone. A landing zone? So yeah, I crashed on Mars, things went horribly bad as usual, and now I have to survive at least until they can send a pickup crew to get me. And that's the core gameplay. It's a survival game on Mars, and it was uh, like, for example, oh, 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 oh. Oh. Meteorological assessment. Yeah, JMC meteor X18's current vector will intersect with pressure-based electrostatic phenomena. Oh, electrostatic phenomena. Better be careful. I think that's the, the, the electrical storms you will see in a second. And I have to try and not drive through them. Need to... You see those... Uh, those tornado thingies, there's... Course those. Uh, action recommended. Evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Sounds like Star Trek. Evasive maneuvers in this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Back up, back up, back up. 
Back up. Oh, storms are coming. Come on. Drive around the storm, please. Yeah, yeah. There's no sprint. No sprint. Of course, my vehicle can't sprint at all. See, there in the distance, that's the... The little landing zone. The little zone I will be using to actually build stuff. And where my living quarters are. My habitat. Or the hab. As it's called from time to time. Don't drive through those. 170 meters. I should be able to reach that actually. Oh, storm is gone. Great, great, great. So yeah, this is a, a game has been developed together with. Uh, they had some help from the people from JCB. And JCB is a company that makes uh, heavy, heavy trucks and machinery. So they helped design the Mars vehicle. And other things and they also had use Q to exit vehicle I can do that Q there now they also had some help from people from uh, ESA the European Space Agency and the lady you see in the top left corner now who gives you the missions is actually indicates damage occurred at approximately the same time as your interrupted descent of course no it's my fault huh? new mission Restore the habitation unit to full working order. Restore it to full working order. I was trying, as I was trying to mention, the, the lady you see in the top left corner, I met her at Gamescom as well. And apparently she is a, a doctor who works for ESA, the European Space Agency. And she also got selected in one of the hundred people who would go on the, what, what was it called? Mars One mission, the one-way ticket to Mars. Uh, she did not do it. She did not accept it. But exit have to perform what to perform Eva to assess damage. Oh, I need to have a look what the damage is. To analyze damage to the infrastructure of the habitat, all power sources are to be inspected. Inspect the power source. Yeah, well I so I had the opportunity to talk with the developer, so Go to Power Alpha 2. That's this one. I need to take a picture of this one too. Great. There you go. Make a picture. Shoot. Take a picture, I said. Wait. I cannot take a picture anymore. Hold on. Return to the ah, there you go. Return to the HAP, a HAP shirt for habitat. So, uh, yeah, I have played through the first Analysis little part of the game. The first solar panels require repair. Gather supplies and prepare for a second EVA. Equip a second the nanotech EVA. repair rifle. The nanotech repair rifle, that's this thing here. Head to the first solar device, Alpha 1. Head to the first solar device. So, this game. Uh, it has some missions you need to complete to get uh, the grips of the game and little tutorials. But you will be able to build and to add to your base here. Like for example, you can perfectly add some solar panels. You can add oxygen generators. Uh, proceed to the garage module. That's the garage module. Luckily there are some, uh, some uh, waypoints markers as well. So in case you don't know... Oh, What's, what's up? Something is broken here. We have oxygen leaking. Or whatever is leaking up there. I don't even know. Could be fuel. Could be anything. But there is a leak. I need to repair it. Fix the garage module. Or the garage module. Uh, have some charge. The things in, in the lower part of the screen are from left to right. Your food level. So you will have to eat. And then there is your health. Wait, why aren't you repairing? There's your health bar. There is your oxygen bar. And there is your water. So you will need food, health, oxygen, Building and repaired. water. Recover the JMC X18. Recover the JMC X18. After a while, you will know that that's your vehicle. Actually, at some point, you will be able to upgrade your vehicles. Uh, vehicle, well, vehicles. You can, you'll be able to buy a new vehicle as well. 
I need to park it in the garage. Yeah, well, I can do that. Drive to the garage. No, 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 no. Don't overturn, please. Always been bad at driving in game, so bear with me while I try to park vehicle repaired. the vehicle inside. There. You need to locate a logic board in power coupling, Wait. utilizing the HAB scanners to project possible location to salvage. Scanning. HAB scanners? New mission. Salvage locations for equipment. Okay, salvage locations. Two salvage locations. Logic board. I need to find a logic board. Let's let's head to the log logic board first. It's the closest one. Oh, that was a little bit laggy actually. I'm. Uh, this is for now. This is a single player game. But uh, I was talking to the developers and and it has been built with multiplayer in mind. They just uh, released it in early access, so uh, yeah, probably the people can uh, can test out the single player mode and find all the bugs in the single player mode before the multiplayer mode gets added but at some point it should be possible to possible to play this together with other people and build bigger things there is also uh different modes to the wait this is under the ground or what different modes like now i'm playing on hardcore mode because there is only one mode but that's uh, at some point they will be adding an easy mode like uh where you have full freedom on construction stuff wait this is below me right okay vehicle vehicle do what i ask you to do yeah this is somewhere below me or is it behind this rock maybe i should have paid more attention and uh, at the demo so this is an early access game. Yes, another early access game. <laughs> there are already plenty of those available, but I'm kind of looking forward to seeing this one evolve, actually. Wait, there is... Can I get in there? Q. Is this a cavern or something? No. No, 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 no. So it's 145 meters. I'm, I'm in the wrong direction but this one needs repairs huh I've probably been heading in the wrong direction all the, all the way turn baby turn health is at 35% wait there is no no cave system here, right? I, I remember seeing a cave system. Wait, drive. Yeah. Health is low. Health on my vehicle is low. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. Because if my vehicle dies, it's game over. And it really is game over then. It will tell you that you lost... You survived for seven hours. I prob this is probably a tunnel next to me. Okay, let's let's see if I can get to the garage and park the thing inside. Ten percent. It will be close. It will be close. Or is that my health actually? Probably it is my health. Yeah, it is my health. Oh, health refilled back again. Okay. It's difficult to see with, with this this toy, of course, but... Oh, there is, like, some structure here. Maybe I do need to go inside there. Yeah, 270 meters. Get out, get out. I can't really drive in anyway. There's nothing I can do with this box? Nope. Yes, a cave. Press F to toggle flashlight. Okay, I have a flashlight too. 
So I need to go salvage warning near level 15 corrosive zone. Okay, lava. Uh, careful with the lava. I remember some area where you actually fell down. I can't remember if it was up here. Yeah, yeah, it was somewhere up, up here. I'm not gonna head up there. Yep, that's the thing I need to have. Hold E to salvage. You must return the salvaged component. I to must the return hab. the salvage component to the hab. See? Last time I played I, I, I jumped over this and I fell down in the lava and it was already already game over. And I learned the lesson. I learned the lesson. I think it was this way. Back to the vehicle. Path to the JMC X18. Or JMX C18. Or whatever. Wait, where is the exit? Ah, there is the exit. Level 1 lava. Warning. Level 15 corrosive zone. Bring the salvaged component back to the hab. I can do that. Pretty close to the hab anyway. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Bring it back to the hab. And then I need to go find the other piece. The power coupling. So yeah, some missions to follow to get you started, but I only got through to through this mission, and he sh then jumped a little bit further up in the game where you had to build stuff. Wait, wait, wait! The hab. This isn't the hab. The hab is right. At what health approaching fifty percent? New mission. Enter the hab to install the salvaged component. Enter the hab to salvage uh, to store the salvaged component. It's probably in here. Not active. No. Nope. In here. Not active. Where do I store it? Use I to access inventory. Okay. Oh yeah, and I just put it in there, right? Repair complete. Yay! Component. Another component to go. Uh, oh, wait. Oxygen. Does oxygen regenerate in here? No, it doesn't. But luckily, look at the boxes. Wait, this isn't a box. This is a box. This is repair material. Okay, that's not what I needed. Oxygen. And... I can now use those. There you go. Use oxygen. Use one more oxygen. One more. Yes. Get back to the vehicle and... Go get the rest of the stuff. The rest seems to be a little bit further out, I think. It's up there. 600 meters. Mm -hmm. If I remember it correctly, this will be some kind of a jumping... An obstacle, a jumping area. And we all know what happens when I have to jump across things. Chances are... I fall down and I die. Oh yeah, there is also a map. Let me show you the map, if I can look at the map. So this is where we are, this is where I am now, and this is actually the size of the map. So it's, it's relatively big. Now this, this yellow circle here is the range of my oxygen. So I, with the oxygen I have now I can reach the yellow thingy, but there is no way to get back. And the blue one is the range of my power. The power. But first, let's go grab. Two hundred meters. 
stupid sandstorm, I can't see a thing. One hundred meters. Yeah, yeah, this is the thing where I'll, I will have to get out of my out of my vehicle and jump up. What's happening? What's happening? Yes, this way. Then this way. Perfect. Now I think it was this way. Oh yeah, I'm getting there. Should be up top of one of those those thingies here. Oh, can I make it? Should be able to make it. Yes, I made it. I made it. Salvage. Press and hold E to salvage. And now I need to get back down. Uh, I do not know if fall damage is a thing in this game, but I'm not gonna, gonna try it out. What? Near level 4. Corrosive zone. I have no idea what that is, but that's probably some environmental damage thing. Like uh, lava hurts you. Oh yeah, that corrosive zone is probably in there. So if I fall down, it will chew through my armor. That's probably a thing. Wait, my vehicle should be down here somewhere. My vehicle was... No, 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 no. Where is my vehicle? Ah, here it is. Still parked where it should be. Okay, now I need to work my way back. Back to base. Back to base with the last components. Not quite sure what the next step was, because at this point... Before I got, I got I got back to the base, he made uh, a little jump to a bit further in the game. So I didn't have to drive back to the base. He he made me complete that without too much problems. And then he, no, he showed me something about upgrading the vehicle and building a few things. So I'm not really sure how far along this is in the game. But I'm gonna be heading back home. Wait, where is my habitat? See no waypoint for my habitat. Oh, there it is. There it is. The ham is right in front of me. Yep. Almost back. This is not really good. Okay. Jump out. There you go. Get into the hab. Place the thing inside here. There you go. And repairs complete. Repairs Systems complete. Online. Systems are online. Analysis shows the colony's power level is less than expected. Enter the colony plan visualizer. The colony plan visualizer. Oh wait, that's this. The CPV, that's this. The solar array is not connected to the colony resource network. Click here to view the resource network. Yeah, let's click it. Oh yeah, this one isn't connected yet. Select the plug to wire and connect buildings together to select. Success, this building is now connected to the network. Remember, all new buildings need connecting in order to function correctly. Okay. So this is the, the thing you can use to build your colony. He showed me that you can make lots of stuff, like for example, water coolers, landing pads, O2 generators, hydrophonics, storage units like a, a warehouse, solar panels, electricity, windmills. I don't remember what these are. Recruiting center. Oh, nice. Basic refinery. And this. Workforce units, research units, 
So there is a bit of everything in here. Uh, in order to build these, you will need credits or RP. I don't really remember what that is. He explained everything to me, but I can't really remember. It's been a, a while. Upgrade vehicle. Park the J JMC X18 in the garage. Well, let's do that. Off to the garage. Proceed to the vehicle status terminal. Uh, that's this thing? Yeah, this thing. Welcome to the garage interface, Pioneer. Spend research points and JCB credits to upgrade the garage vehicle. Add an excavation arm to the JMC X18 to enable the mining of resources for construction. And an excavation arm. Well, the only thing I can do is this tech tree this here. This tech tree oh. represents all the potential upgrades that can be applied to this vehicle. Only one path can be traced through the tree per vehicle. Click to select the first available upgrade. Once the upgrade is selected, a summary is shown. Spend research points to research this vehicle upgrade. Researching. Research complete. This upgrade can now be applied to any JMC X18. Yeah. Apply it to this one. Upgrade. This upgrade is now applied. Further upgrades are now available for research. What is this? Increases hull size. This increases probably health. This increases power. This will be a better arm. Do I want to do... Oh no, I cannot do that even. I need RPs, the research points to do that. Cancel. Back. Notice that the JMC X18 is now upgraded with an excavation arm. Yeah, yeah, I kind of noticed that, yeah. Click here for the current status. Yeah. Return to the hab. Return to the hab. Well, I can do that. Uh, for now, it will be all about the vehicle, but because the vehicle will be needed to, to collect resources. You JCP need a vehicle to collect resources. Yay! I won! This protocol will now enter hibernation until one of these directives fails to be satisfied. Maintain life support systems. Provide solutions critical to Martian survival. The creation of a self-sustaining habitat. Okay. Utilize the trade post to begin your pioneer mission. Well, I guess this is the perfect opportunity to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to share, like, and if you have comments and ideas, post those in the comment section below the video. Check out the description. That's where you find the links to the social media pages, the Patreon page, and links to the all crazy folks and creative oh, misfits yeah. guys as well. And while you're on the YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. So this will be it for today. And I hope to see you next time. And until then, have fun and stay safe. Bye.